Okay. Hello, everyone. Welcome to our first live show for the Runaway Road series. I'm really, well, it says zero people are watching, so I don't know. There's 23. <laughs> it says it's zero. Right. Okay. It says zero. I know, right but now. I'm on. It always, like, goes on YouTube before it, like, notifies StreamYard that we're live. It always freaks me out. Oops. Oops, 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 oops. If you're here, say hello, please, and thank you. So I know, because no comments are popping up. And oh, there we go. Hello. Hi. Hi, welcome, welcome. These covers are really pretty. I do like them. I only have the first book, but Kimberly got this one for me. Mm. Hello, everyone. Hi, Sarah. Hi, Stacy. Hi, Cool Gamer. <laughs> Hi, Laura. Hi, Jessica. Elena. So many people. Jasmine. Cheryl. Butterflies. I don't know. What there were a lot of people reading this series this week, so. I know. I was really excited. Okay. Hi, Lexi. Anyway, um, we're here to talk about the Runaway Road series. The first book is Runaway Road. Do you have the second book? What is it called? Wild Highway? Yeah. I think I like the Wild Highway more than this one because I like the orange, but. The cover? Yeah. Yeah. But yeah I do um, love when, like, more than authors who do this, she labels one, two, and, like, labels she? the number on the side. Oh, I love that. I love it. I'm like, why do not all authors do this? Because She didn't do that so for nice. the Edens, though. No. She hasn't done that for any other series. But she did for this one. <laughs> trying to see where my other ones are where did I put them you have all of them right yeah I got the other three for Christmas I was gonna look at who they are after we got started talking so oh good because I'm curious about that well because there's six of them and I was like but there's only five books so I know I like what does that mean the guy must get with one of them so and, oh I didn't even think about that oh okay Hello. I was Hello. not a fan of the guy for book three that she liked, and I was hoping she'd, like, go off and be with someone else. Oh, Cash? But, oh. But it's with Cash. That's okay. Know. We'll talk about it. We'll talk about it. Because I don't like the unrequited, like, she's had a crush for so long, and he's, like, oblivious. I'm like, oh. Yeah. These are very um, marathon of... Mar yes. Yep. Serious. We'll just say that. Oh, yeah. So I actually didn't know anything about this series. I thought, mm -mm. I thought it was, like, a, one couple going on a road trip together for the whole five books. I don't know no. why. <laughs> so when I started reading, I was like, oh, okay. She's, like, newly divorced. This is good. And then she goes to West Virginia. So what did you give the first book? Oh, we'll start with the first book. Um, book one, I gave four stars. I gave four stars as well. What did everyone Let else give? Give, it. give them, yeah. It felt very novella. Oh weird yeah, because it's it's not a novella though. Mm -mm. But I feel like all maybe the font's a little bigger than normal because it took me like no time to read this. Oh yeah, I physically read the first one and I was like flying through the pages. Oh, did you have the audio for any of them? No. Mm -mm. Okay. Four stars. Four stars. Oh, sorry. The comments keep going up. I'm trying to get them. Four and a half. The second one four. <laughs> I read them back to back but I also don't love that I read them back to back because they like had in common of the oh I run away from everything I'm like well yeah she just did that in book one so five stars Whoa. five stars four and a half stars four stars wow four stars and then book two five stars I'm no, glad you guys are loving book. it that's awesome oh my gosh Okay, let's all give it three stars. Okay. Four stars. Three and a half. Three and a half, four. I tried not to look on any of my friends, like, what they rated it. I know Christy yeah. read this. I did like book two better. I did not like book two better. I liked book one better. Okay, but book one was very insta-love. I loved very it. It was so good. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Okay, wait. I'm trying to get through all the ratings. Book one was three stars. Book two mm. was four stars. Oh, okay, okay. Two years ago. Wow. I like how it's kind of like, you know, Sisterhood of the Traveling Pants, but with yeah. a car. Yeah, with a car. Yeah, I like that. Book two is your favorite. Okay. Oh, 
four stars, okay. Book two, The Hate to Love, with no. the second chance, because she left him. No, I didn't. Oh, see, Book two's least favorite, Christy. It's fine. It's fine. I like the best so far. Her books oh. are very bingeable. Oh, I love the birthday list. That was so good. But even like when we did Clifton Forge, I loved reading those like back to back to back. Mm -hmm. I kind of felt uh, like <laughs> it was kind of love in book one. I, <laughs> I have a, I have an explanation of why I believe like this is okay. okay. So I'm like book two better. Okay. Okay. Christy you. gave. Okay. What did you give book two? Four stars. Four stars. I gave it three and a half. So it's what, like not my favorite but okay okay three stars but i gave it i was on like a five star and then the second half was four star for the second book you mean yeah mm. i don't know i felt um how do you want to do this you want to talk about the first let's book? just talk about book one first and then we'll okay <laughs> so what were your favorite parts of book one um okay so i loved the part where like he was obviously falling madly in love with her i don't know how i feel about him keeping his son a secret I don't, I didn't love that. Um, but when he was like, come visit my family, because he's like, because when you leave, I want people to remember who you were. And I was like, oh, what? He's like, so that almost made me give it five stars. Because I was just like, oh my gosh, like this man. But I also guessed pretty early on about the sun. Yeah, I did too. Yeah, because I was like, okay, but there's no one left. As soon as he delivered the food, oh i knew it i was like uh something's up with that like okay. they made she made it too much of a point to like make sure who this delivery guy is right right yeah but and i, I didn't mind I, it it went like a little too far <laughs> literally like running her off the road and like she could have died like i was like what kid would do this what kid would like run someone off the road to flip their car so that was the friend, and well, yeah. the son was in the passenger seat, and he was like, I told him not to do that. So, like, I thought it was fine that the, the son was, like, vandalizing stuff. Yeah. I was like, oh, he just, like, doesn't want her to leave because his dad's happy. Also, I did not appreciate, though, how the son, they knew the son could hear them, and the dad was like, ah, he's 16. I'm like, no. <laughs> I don't care how old your child is. Some parents are like that because now, like, my brother's 16. My parents are like, we don't care. Absolutely not. No. No. No, no. That was, like, I was like, no. <laughs> I, like, I, that that didn't surprise me because he's older. So I was like, yeah, that's fine. I mean, no. I don't know. You're different family dynamics, I guess. No. <laughs> oh, I love the small town part of the. I love the small town, too. And I will say, like, book two, also, like, the ranch. I just like the settings of these so yeah. much. I don't love Insta Love very often, but for this one, because it was like, it's not a novella, but it's not like a full length book. It's kind of like yeah. in between. I felt that it worked really well. And that's why I didn't like book two that much. And I feel like it was so fast because like this one, they spent their entire book, like falling in love and loving each other. There's no like yeah. hate to love or anything like that. True. Oh, I loved it. I thought it was sweet. I don't see that's about that one. Oh yeah, he kept he like, like tapping his heart. He fell very hard, and I thought that was. I love a hero who just like falls head over heels, and he wasn't annoying about it like the hero of book two was. It was annoying though, where she was like, "You didn't ask me to stay," and he's like, "But I did." She's like, "But is it was that this one?" I feel like they had the same conversation in both books though, so I can't like keep it straight. Yeah, no. She, in book one, she was like, um you never asked me to stay. And he's like, I did. And you said, no, you didn't want to. And so I'm not going to. Yeah, but he's like, I'm not going to keep asking if I know the answer, which I think I'm like, okay, that makes sense. Yes. Okay. Well, <laughs> that's horrifying to me. So <laughs> I find that funny. Okay. Yeah. Okay. But I will say like for the insta love though, it felt like the only reason they like really liked each other was because of how hot each other was. And they like kept on talking about how hot each other was. I was like, okay, I get it. You both are like extremely attractive people. Like they just kept on talking about that. But they have like a kindred spirit kind of thing. Like she is like being free and wanting to go. And he like, can. I don't know. I felt like it was cool that he could 
kind of see how she needed to like be free and go and he was like okay with letting her go and do that because she needed that after being like trapped but he literally couldn't leave like he has a son he has this garage and all this stuff like that so I liked how it was like kind of opposites that they could have that time even though it was a short amount of time to have together yeah I loved it it was definitely low angst which is not always my favorite. So yeah. I it was a good like I sat down and I started it and I was just like flipping through reading. I'm like, okay, this is super cute. Like it was just a really good, like yeah, cute read. Yeah. Oh my god, the rock. Yeah. I did like the rock. Yeah. Yeah. It was so cute. I do think though, like for especially like when I talked about the um her getting to like meet his family. They skipped the scene. It was like she showed up and then it was the end. So we didn't even see the like party with her, his family. Oh, yeah. Which yeah. I didn't love. But I know she was doing that in order to. Well, she's done in a couple of her other books. And I saw, I don't know if Christy could talk about, touch on this. Because I saw that Christy said the same thing about her new release too. Is that she just like kind of like glossed over certain things. Like get to certain plot points. Which she did. Oh, I haven't. I did. I saw that Christy reviewed Jasper. Are you talking about Jasper Vale? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. yeah but I, I didn't want to read it because I didn't <laughs> I saw her rating but I didn't read I saw her rating and I just skimmed through it to see what she had to say well that actually I wonder if that's an editing choice well I think so because like she obviously wanted this to be like a shorter book yeah. mm-hmm. and so and that wasn't like important important but like that was one of my favorite parts of the book was the fact that she was so important to him he wanted to bring her home yeah and we just all of a sudden it was like oh but the party's over I was like but you just got there like are yeah. we gonna see this party instead so. of telling me I wanted to like right. have you show it as the author yeah oh sorry I saw Kendra's zoom yeah you usually don't like insta love but for some reason I was like this is adorable and I love this yeah um yeah the rock was really cute my favorite part was when they would go on the boat and like be teenagers again and just like have fun and not a care in a world in the world. Yeah. I love that. I think it's interesting how like su- I'm interested to see the other characters because like they became so successful mm-hmm. and like rich rich after growing up in a junkyard that it's interesting to see like what then happened to all the other ones if they found the same kind of life. I will say though, Miko's barking. Sorry, he's being Miko. Um, I will say this car. If my car had that many problems, I'd be like, just keep it. I don't even care. <laughs> just keep the car. I'll get a new. I'll buy a totally brand new car. I don't even care. What? She blew a tire and wrecked it the first time. Yep. Car got keyed the second time. Yep. Took out all the tires the third time. Yep. And then. <laughs> literally totaled the car the <laughs> total the car and they had to rebuild it after renovating it yes yeah also her ex was a prick but i do think it's interesting then how they weren't super villainized with her pregnancy and then what happened with the pregnancy because then she's like oh they are just like people wanting to be together yeah, like I, I like how it, well it's like a mature way of thinking, right? Like she is mm-hmm. there. These characters are a lot older, I feel like, than what she usually writes for some reason. I don't know, mm-hmm. um, but I like that that even though she was like, oh, he cheated on me. Like you can hate him and feel some certain type of way that he cheated on her, like me, like as the character, right? But mm-hmm. when she got pregnant, it was just like, I mean, if they want to, if they want to do that, go and do that. Like I'm not with him anymore. I don't care. That's yeah. like how, like a mature way of thinking, I guess, would be that. You know, it wasn't like, oh, I hate that child. Yeah. Oh, okay. I don't know what that is. I never read those. Yeah. It was sad, though, learning about their home situations in both of them and, like, what they had to go through and her figuring out what happened to her parents at the end. Yeah. Which also, like, oh, go ahead. Go ahead. I was going to talk about book two, so you can go ahead. Oh, I was going to say I loved that. Well, I hated that her husband, well, now ex-husband, made her seem like she was, like, illiterate. Like, she couldn't read and write the right yeah. way. Because, like, she learned how to do it. But she, like, to this day will still, like, re-read things to make yeah. sure. And I'm like, I would die. Like, the fact that she learned her spelling from her mother, who was... Like, she didn't have proper schooling, so that's how she would spell things. And then her husband would make her feel bad about it. I'm like, yeah. 
So, but it's sad because they both, it, I mean, it also shows like they both had so much money in both of the books, but they felt so empty and their lives like didn't have anything personal yeah. about them. So yeah. it was like, um, oh, what was I going to say? I was going to say, I can't pronounce anything correctly ever. Like in my, <laughs> ever, like you get a glimpse of it in some of my videos and I leave those in, but like literally every day there's some, multiple things I can't pronounce. And like Brandon will just be like, what did you say? Like as a joke, but he never, I, oh my God, if someone ever made me feel bad about that. I'll be right. Like, yeah, I'm not perfect. I can't pronounce everything. Um, oh, that's cute. Yeah. And, but I will say like the car was definitely more prevalent in book one, I think because of what Monica just said about like her personal attachment to it. It wasn't really mentioned that much in book two. Cause it wasn't like, that much she was just like trying to get the car to california it wasn't like her possession like it was yeah one well yeah uh what's her name jima 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 she lived in the um tent yes and i'm glad that london never actually went and found the carson yeah because i didn't want that drama coming in with like her old love because i did find that drama annoying in book two with liz <laughs> Which we to I will say though, I have a feeling that every single one of these books are going to end with them getting married and getting pregnant. Okay, so <laughs> the fact that the Clifton Forge, remember we were talking about this? I was like, they've yeah. literally known each other for like two weeks. They've already proposed and now she's pregnant. And that happened in book two. I don't know. Did he propose it right away in book one? Oh, he, um, he was at some party, I thought. Okay, so they wait. Oh, no, I don't think he it. actually proposed. But like book two, literally at the end of the book, I was like, okay, she's been here for two months. We're proposing, and then six months later, she's like six months pregnant. <laughs> and I'm like, <laughs> when she said, oh, six months later, he showed up with a ring or something like that, and I showed up pregnancy test, and I was like, wait, what? Like you literally got pregnant like the day you got back together. Yes, they did. I'm like, what? Yes, which I don't love that. And it's, it which, happens in so many of her books, though, because it happened in, like, half the Clifton Forge books. It's just, um, this is funny. So, I don't mind that, because it's most of the time people's, like, norm of what they think a happily ever after is, which is, like, cute, and that's, you know. But, like, after, like, a month. Right? Like, you can do, like, two time. years, two years yes. down the line or something. Right? You don't even know each other. Right? But. Um, yeah, there's no, I went back and looked at it. Yeah, I did really like seeing them in book two and like London saying she was pregnant again. Oh, yeah. That was cute. Yeah. I also liked it, though, that in book one, they were talking about how like when Wyatt goes to college, like we can go to ca uh, California to really like take the trip together. And I was like, that's so cute. Like you're still young. You can yeah. both have money like they can both do that or whatever. And then she wound up pregnant. And I'm like, oh. Okay, wait, so I don't know if I missed it, but, like, Wyatt was, like, oh, women always go after my dad for his money. Is it his just parents. from the shop? No, his, his parents, parents and grandparents have money. They're just rich. Yeah. Okay. But in a small town, like, if they know your family like that, that's so common that people will try and go after you. Yeah. For that. Like, for your okay. inheritance or whatever. I was like, well, she's rich, too, so, like. <laughs> yeah. But then they and also both say, donate. They did donate a lot. Yeah. That's, I agree on that. <laughs> yeah. Like, they all just get pregnant and have babies after a month. It is cute and fun. It, it goes with the small yeah. townness. So, what did you think about him, though, keeping his son a secret? Um, it made sense. Because, well... It made sense that he wanted to be able to tell Wyatt about her. Am I saying his name right? Is that his name? I thought so. That's what Wyatt? I was saying. I don't know. That sounds weird. Anyway. That's how you so, say Wyatt. Yeah. That's how you say the okay. name. Okay. Um, but it made sense of why he was like, I want to tell Wyatt about her before I tell her about him. Like, he's my first, my son. Like, he's. I know. But, like, she's the one going to get into a relationship with him. So. Yeah. But you have to think about, like, they were just thinking it's fun. Like, two weeks and she's gone. Yeah. You know, so after he told why. Oh, yeah, the dad is a doctor. I forgot about that. Sorry, yeah, what yeah. Cheryl said. Yeah. Yeah. They, that's how they have money. Okay. I mean, but like they made it sound like they were like 
multi-millionaires like oh my dad's got money i'm like okay someone oh i like the reason that yeah he kept him a secret he just kept it for a very long time it seemed like a long time but like this whole book is like two weeks i guess so it really wasn't a long time but i was like wow because it was like 60 percent and he finally told her i was like wow it's been a long time yeah but that was like 10 days it was it was only like two weeks she was there so (laughs) Yeah, that's how I rationalize it. I'm like, okay, he wasn't, they weren't planning to be together for like ever and ever. Oh, oh, go away. I don't know, but I feel like if I was dating someone and they like never told me they had a kid, I'd be like, what the heck? But were they dating? Oh, I guess not. So, I mean, I see that, but. Okay. Yeah, I guess like single parent, like, why is this person, can you, did I block them? You blocked one, but not the other. It's not letting me block this one. Oh. It's giving me an error. I'm sorry. Just ignore that, guys. I'm sorry. (laughs) (laughs) Oh, yeah. Sorry. I thought the ex, like, I thought she was doing all that. And I was about to be so bad. But I also didn't love then how the ex had a boyfriend that the, the son met. And, like, she never even told brooks but like i don't i I guess that's like with the blended family thing like i don't know if you're actually i mean but if you're like bringing a new person around the son like you should tell the other parent that because the son had met him and knew him yeah but he's 16 i don't know i feel like at that age it's like he's his own adult i don't know yeah he's his own adult he's his own person yeah (laughs) yeah Oh, yeah, like, after a week, hey, meet my kid. (laughs) Ten days. I know they were hooking up, but, like, they both were clearly falling for each other. Maybe it was just his denial that he was, like, feeling for anything for her. Did you not like that part of it? That it seemed like it was, like, a kept secret? Um, no. I mean, I don't know. Because it was insta-love, so why are we saying, like, oh, they were just hooking up? But, like, they obviously, like, fell in love very, very quickly. Yeah. So okay yeah yeah I, know, I'm always always- I mean I think it was nice that like she was dating someone that was making her a better person so like you don't have to worry about that but yeah. but like what if that other person was like making her into a bad person like you'd want to know like, right right so that's ways. why it was important to yeah I mean I really like that one that's my favorite I mean we've only read two but what so oh, I was gonna say what did you rate too but we already went through that yeah four stars yeah yeah (laughs) just because the uh i mean yeah and i mean like i guess you like don't realize it's in love but when you're like wow this has been two weeks (laughs) like okay we're moving a little fast (laughs) um for book two um, I really liked it until the dumb Liz stuff happened. And it's all like, well, what? My best friend's in love with me. I had no idea. And the mom's like, wow, you're really dumb. And he's like, I don't know what you're talking about. And I'm like, and then she like ran away because she's like, Ugh, of course, she's better for you. And I'm like, you don't get to decide who's better for him. He does. And I like really hate it when that happens in books, when they're like, I know this is the best choice for you. So I'm just going to make that decision for you. So that's why it ended up being a four. But I loved the hate to love aspect of it. See, I feel like I didn't like the hate to love. Like, it wasn't, like, hate on her side. It was really hate on his side, you know? Well, it was obviously hate on his, hate on his side because she left him. Yes. But, so like, she that, didn't yeah. feel, like, she didn't feel hate. I don't know. It just was, like. Well, she kind of hated him because he, like, called her out for what she did. Yeah, but I feel like that was more annoyance. Like, oh. Yeah. yeah. Sorry. Sorry. At the end. Oh, fade to black. Yep. That's what they mean. I don't think so. No, they were. They had some spicy scenes. Yeah. I mean, it wasn't like the spiciest. It's Dumney Perry spice, I guess. Right. The bickering was fun. I will say that. Yeah. Like well, they would like, push each other's buttons on purpose. Yeah. And like, I really liked when um, she had to take writing lessons from him. Like, I, I was about to say that, the writing lessons. Okay, but he was, like, really hurt by it. Like, I think it hurt. 
<laughs> deep <But> down. Like, <laughs> that to me is like, you hate her that much and you had one night together. Like, it was just one night. Like, but it obviously made a lasting impression if it hurt him that much. So. <laughs> I don't know. But I, like, really enjoyed how she, like, opened up more to him than she would, like, to her own therapist. And she's like, what the heck am I doing? I really yeah. liked that part. Because this felt a lot more emotional, I feel like, than book one did. Because, like, book one, she talked about, like, her parents gave up on her. But this one, it was like, no, her mom was, like, really bad. But then also she was still supporting her mother. Which I think that dynamic is just really interesting. Yeah, I feel like that's a very, like, unhealthy. Yeah. I did love this. He chased after her on the horse. He's like, I saw you crying. <laughs> so dramatic. Oh, I love a hero who goes after what he wants. Yeah, I kind of felt that way. Like, if it was enemies to lovers, I feel like I would be more on board. Like, yeah, you really feel a certain type of way. Like, you're bitter that she left you. Yeah. But I don't know. Like, but after hearing also, all this stuff, I feel like you should be, like, a little bit more understanding. I don't know. He, I think he might have been overcompensating, too, because he was, like, mad that he liked her. So he was like, I'm just going to hate you more because I oh, like you. You know? That's true. That's kind of what it felt like. And I think that's why they hopped in bed so fast, too, because he, like, obviously liked her. But he was, like, trying to be mean about it. Yeah. And he, like, chopped her wood. Oh, and then he's like, I want to eat dinner with you. And she's like, no. And then he's like, listen, that ham and potato, whatever. Casserole. <laughs> Casserole. Yeah. <laughs> that was funny. Like, there were, like, little funny moments. But then he's like, but my mom doesn't like making that because she has to stare at her grandmother's or her mother's writing. And I was like. Like, I ask my mom to make things all the time. Does my mom feel like that? Like, <laughs> she has to pull out a recipe? <laughs> Maybe think about that. Yeah, that's true. I thought it was actually really sweet, the friendship part of it, that she went to the ranch to apologize to, oh, what's her name? Catherine? Catherine yeah, Catherine. Yeah. yeah. I actually thought that was really sweet that it started with, like a friendship thing to where she was like, I need to go apologize to my friend because I understand that it wasn't fair. Yeah. The way I left everything. And I actually thought that was really, really sweet. Okay, really but like I'm gonna be so annoyed because it's like obviously Kat loves cash and he shows up with a date and people are like, <gasps> and he's like, Why? Like, I hate the clueless hero. And yeah. I'm like, maybe she's gonna go off and fall in love with Carson. Like, I would be okay with that, but no, it's cash. Oh yeah. Like, read the, read the room, Cash. Come on, man. Like, considering he's never brought home a girl before. And, like, they were roommates. Like, her and Cash were roommates. Friends to lovers. So. Friends to lovers is my favorite, though. So this says, according to Cash, she's the little sister he never had. <laughs> the greatest roommate in the world. And his favorite co-worker. They're best friends. Okay, Christy said book three is so good. Okay. Books three and four are her favorite. But I do hate the clueless. Heroes. Okay, well, I'm going to be mad at you, Chrissy, if I don't like it. Because now you're making me. <laughs> Get my Someone said, first cookies in the Clifton Forge and now Kath Hurls, LOL. Okay, but this is like an actual road trip. Cash goes with her to California. Oh, good. Okay, I must have, like, read that about it. I don't know. I just don't love it when it's the heroine, like, pining the whole time. And the hero's dumb about it. I don't know. I like it when the hero's been pining. That's my favorite. I... Guys, are okay, this is true because <laughs> that's what what's his name did with liz at the end of this book exactly. Nothing dumb. okay so like three, four and five a lot oh okay yeah that i'll be open-minded okay there. i do like i love friends i love friends to lovers so um hi welcome um what was i gonna say i was gonna say something though i wonder if it's gonna be like he's apologizing for like bringing that date in and then they go on the road trip together and he's like gonna try and like grovel a little bit on the road trip like maybe because it does say like he, she didn't want him to come but he conned his way into coming yeah so maybe he knows from the beginning also i find it going back to book one stupid that london left without a phone well yes but then he bought her one that was really sweet mm -hmm. i really like that he was a really sweet hero. I was, he was just so caring and just wanted the best for her. Well, like, that's why in book two, I also liked how he, like, chopped the wood for her. He's like, oh, I did that yesterday for you. I was like, but you hate her. But, like, you really <laughs> don't hate her. So yeah, cute. book three is an actual road trip, which I'm really excited okay. for. Okay, Cash, when you over. Am I going to look up? Oh, okay. So book excited to read book four. Who's book four? The last book is Carson. Yeah, someone said book five is Carson. Lizelle liked book four um, the best. Aria is book four. She's Aria. the one that they said is in Oregon? 
There's two people in Oregon, I thought. Oh, oh wait. No, no, no. Wait, there's London, Gemma. 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 Catherine. Catherine's in Cash's Oregon. book. It's Catherine and Cash. Yeah. And they're driving, and they're like, oh, you don't have to go to California. She's like, I don't want to go to California again. Yeah. And they're like, oh, just take it to Oregon, to Aria. Oregon, to Aria. And then I think Ari. Wait, does that mean Aria and Carson? Yeah. No, that's Clara and Carson. Okay, because Aria and Clara are together in Oregon. That's what it was. Oh, yeah. Okay. Clara and Aria. Oh, it says, so though she wanted more than his friendship, he always belonged to another. <laughs> Until the night he was hers. <laughs> Yes. This is so dramatic. Well, that means that she really liked him when he was dating London. She was pining. Oh, sorry. I missed some of the comments. Hang on. Hang on. Hang on. So they're forced on a road trip. Yeah, I'm so excited for the Forest Park 70, especially because they were roommates before they go on the road trip. Yeah. Cash is clueless for most of his life, it seems. <laughs> um... Oh, yeah, this one's she's love. Cheryl said she kept asking, or he kept asking where her coat was. That was cute. <gasps> He's a billionaire. Why are they all rich? Oh, a billionaire. Who's a billionaire? Oh, Carson? no. Oh, no. This one's surprise pregnancy. Oh, is that the fifth one? It says it on the back. It's surprise pregnancy, number four. Okay, so Aria is one of the twins. The last one is Clara and Carson. Catherine is in Montana. Aria is in Oregon. Clara's in Arizona and is book five. Yeah. So they never make it to California? What? Yes. Uh, well, we started about Oh, years. Aria goes to see Clara and hooks up with Clara's boss. Is the surprise pregnancy okay? Because, like, I don't like surprise pregnancy. Someone said don't spoil it for yourself. Just wait. Christy said that. It was on the back. It said on the back of the book. Oh, is it past or present? I don't like past to present. Oh, no. And someone said, and this is why I binged the whole series. I know. Surprise. Okay, listen. They had surprise pregnancy in the Clifton Ford series, and I didn't mind it all too much. So, I mean, like, it was okay. I, that was my least favorite book of that series. I mean, that it was, was so my boring. least favorite. It was so boring. They just sat around while she was pregnant. <laughs> okay, book four is Enemies to Lovers. Yes. Oh, wait, no, Clara goes to California. So does Clara and Carson go to California? Oh, someone said Carson is in California. Okay, so they so go to Arizona. Carson lives in, like, a small coastal town. Okay, so, yeah, they make it to. Oh, Clara goes to California to see Carson. Okay. Got it. Got it, got it, got it. I'm nervous. Well, and it says that they have to live together until she has the baby. Oh. Who is that? Who is that? Aria with the oh. billionaire. So Clara's lost. Listen, I love a billionaire. Listen, the brazen, Pierce Sullivan, like Daphne Perry can just write some billionaires. I don't know what it is. Like, oh, I still cannot think of it. Oh, wait. Think. Yeah. So Aria visits Clara and gets with Clara's boss. Okay. Cool. I did like how, um, going back to, oh my gosh. Do you ever run about this, the surprise pregnancy? No. It did not work for me in Clifton Forge, so. What? Wait, does she have a kid? Do we know this? Wait, Monica, is this a spoiler? Wait, is this Monica? She changed her thing? Yeah. Again? Okay. Yeah. Remember she, her daughter changed it and she couldn't oh. change it for, like, it was stuck. Yep, yep, yep. yep. I don't see anything about a kid on the back of this book. Okay. Well, we'll just ignore that. But I can see why they're so bingeable now. Like, I really do like it. You get And they're so quick. Like, so quick. I oh, finished yeah. them in a day while I was working. And I, like, had plenty of time to spare. So, so were book three, four, and five about the same length? I think so. They look the same length? 248. I don't think any of them are over 250. Oh, 258. And 259. Okay. Yeah. Oh, okay. They mentioned book they mentioned book three. Okay. And it's from previous boyfriend. Okay. Because they haven't mentioned them a lot. They only really set up for the next book normally. So Yeah, and then they mentioned like, oh, in the past the twins did this and Carson did yeah. this. And yeah. 
Like these people are living here. I'm excited. I might wait till closer to the next live show though to like read them all back to back. Yeah, I, that's what I was planning on doing. Because that's what I did for this time. I read one Monday and one Tuesday. I read one over the weekend and then I just read one yesterday. Yeah. I do like them. They are really cute. Yeah. I feel like this is an underrated series by Debbie Perry. Oh, yeah. This is the one I've, like, heard the least about. Besides Christy and her video, but yeah. Yeah. Because, obviously, in her Eden series is her most popular. But even I see people talking about the Will and Ash series more than these. What are yeah. those series called? What is that series called? Calamity Montana series. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Out of all of her series, which one's your favorite? Ooh, including her Will and Ash stuff? Mm-hmm. Well, the Edens isn't finished, so it's hard for me to say that series, but I really like the Calamity Montana series. There's hit and misses, but yeah, that, I think it's between those two. I think this is the first series, though, at least that we've been doing read-alongs for, that everybody's, like, unanimous four or five stars. Yeah. <laughs> so. Well, Clifton Forge, they had a lot of people that were really close, but we yeah. had more people that would be, like, two, three. Yeah. Yeah, people don't really... I wonder, how old is this series? Did it come out a while ago? So I don't remember... I think this one was 2019. The first one was 2019, I think, when I looked. Yeah, 2019. Okay, the last one came out in 2020, so it's been a while. So she's written... And she's written a lot since then. She writes a lot. Oh, my God. Sorry. <laughs> I just got a message. Um... Yeah, it's a good one. Do I have... Is this my last W. Perry series I need to read? I love the bind up. I almost bought it for Christmas, but I thought, you know, what if I don't like all the books, you know? So I'm trying to wait yeah. to read the books before, like, I actually buy them. Lark Cove, that's oh, yeah. the other series. Do I only own Steel King of the other series? No, I thought you owned a lot of them. I only see one on my shelf. You bought a couple at Book Bonanza because I bought two for that that I was hosting. Oh, no, I, I only bought one at Book Bonanza. Oh, then I guess you might only have one. And then I have all of her. No, I'm missing one Calamity Montana book. And they have her Edens. I think these are a lot better though than her Lark Cove or her Coppersmith's Farmhouse one. What That's that, the other Valley? series I have to read is the Coppersmith. Jameson Valley, I think, was her first series, and that had way more misses than normal for me. And then the Lark Cove was fine, but... Yeah, Lark Cove has just been, like, just... Tragic average. was my favorite, and that was it. The rest were, like, three, four star. All of them blend together for me for, in that series. Well, yeah. Except for Tragic in that one and the Outpost in the other one were my favorites. But you didn't like the Outpost, did you? What did you give the Outpost? Like, four? Four and a half stars? Oh. Okay. I thought you didn't like yeah. it for some reason. Oh, Coppersmith Farmhouse was not good. <laughs> Kendra. I did not like the first one. and that, But I think that was like her first book ever. Someone said this is their favorite series because it's in different places. So far, I am like I do that. really love this concept. Yeah. It was. It got a little redundant, like reading them so close back to back when they were like, oh, this is like the car and this is where it's from. This is where we lived. I was like, yeah, I know. I just read it. But I guess you kind of have to do that. But I would not do these as standalones. I think a lot of her series you should read in order yeah yeah she definitely has grown oh yeah considering like her newest stuff i think is her best like this series and then you said you really like this series too especially the new one yeah the new like one the first like? book the bribe is not my favorite yeah. it was fine and, i think i gave that four stars yeah like it was okay um yeah but like the brazen one of my favorites the brawl is like close i'm missing Did you, one. you have her new one what's her new one the brawl the yellow one? Which one am I missing? Name I one have Bride, Bluff, Brawl, Brazen. Isn't there a red one or has it not come out yet? That's bro the Broad? Brood? Whatever the word is. No, you're missing one. There's six. Wait, no. Bribe, the Bluff, is the green one. The Brazen is the blue one. Oh, you're missing the second one. I don't have book two. Whatever the second one is. Are you sure? Yes. The Bluff. Okay, that's a green one, right? I'm missing book four. I'm missing the bully. The bully. That's it. 
So oh, everyone in the comments is saying it. You're just not sure. Sorry, <laughs> sorry. I was like looking at her shelves trying to like see what colors. You guys always know the answers. Yeah. Oh, I am excited for Coach because it's single dad. Uh, yeah. Also, if you haven't read Ivy by Will and Ash, go read that one. That's a good one. But it's very different than what she normally writes. Oh, it's totally different. It's not anything like, you know. But she did a really good job with it. I really liked it. I will say I'm very happy that um, they're on KU now because her books are expensive when they weren't on KU. Yeah. So I read most of her stuff through the library while I was getting it. So Yeah. The Booty is the novella. I haven't read that one. Do you know what that one is? Lola. Oh, is that her assistant from The Bribe? The Wrangler Butt Contest. I remember you buying those at Book Bonanza, and I'm like, what are these books? Why do they look like this? Why is one called The Booty? Because <laughs> she threw them. this in. This was free when you bought them. Yeah. Which I didn't know was going to happen. Yeah, but the I do. Booty. I like these covers better than the people covers. They're okay. Yeah. I will say there's something about the Eden series. Those covers are just gorgeous. Like, she just released Crimson River. It's so pretty. I know, but I feel like it's too close of a red to... And I like it had to be red because it's crimson, but, like... I feel like that's more, like, red red, but, like, Crimson River is more, like, a pinky red. I know, but, like, they're all such distinct colors so far. It was, like, blue, green, red, yellow, and then, like, pink I think she's trying to go for, like, a pink one. That's what it seemed like she was going for. Yeah. I don't know. They haven't done, like, purple yet or something. Like, that would be cool. That would be purple. I thought, what's a purple cover? Oh, yeah, it's fuchsia. That's what this. Yeah, it looks more fuchsia. But I think if you it get it like physically, a, a reddish fuchsia. But I think if you um get it physically, it's going to look totally different. Yeah, they do all have the same color. Yeah, and same thing for the um Clifton Forge series. There are oh Mateo's is purple. Mateo's book. Oh, okay. Okay. Someone said Ivy is a favorite. Yeah, that's a really good one. But I think she's, I don't know if she's done doing Will and Ash stuff because she's calling everything Devney Perry now. Yeah, but she said on her Will and Ash Instagram that she's taking a break from that. So I honestly think she's just trying to merge Will and Right, Ash. because before she said it was like a, like a experiment hey. to like play with KU. Mm-hmm. Um, like I wouldn't be surprised that after the Calamity Montana series, she doesn't write anything as Will and Ash anymore. Yeah, she's gonna put it as Debbie Perry, which I don't care. Like I personally don't care. Like it would be different if they were like really different, but they're not. Only Ivy's really different. Like the Calamity Montana series is pretty similar to her other stuff she's written. So yeah, yeah, no, yeah. It's not like it's super spicy or it's still well, small town, same spice level. So Ivy is more um new adult. I mean, they're in their last year of college, so that's, I feel like, the youngest that she has wrote, yeah, any characters. But I think she did a really good job with it. That's why I'm excited for the coach. Wait, they're adults in the coach, right? I think so. He's a single dad, and he's, like, older. I don't know who the, I meant the female character. I don't know if it's, like, a big age gap or not. I don't know anything about that book. Oh, she has her two wild series, or the, what is that called? The snowboarding one? You read that one, you didn't like it? No. I think she did. She write that and in another series, a book too. Yeah, she has like two random one-off books. I think that they they're the same age because it says that he's a football star, single dad, and a long time ago they were together, and she spent the oh. better part of a decade forgetting him. She has her riffs series, right? Riffs and refrain. That's her one that was part of a three book series with other authors. Got Just it. like the new one. Yeah. So I think she's done that twice. Got it. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. I'm pretty much almost caught up with all of her stuff then. Well, what color is the fifth book going to be? For what? Oh, Crimson is five. I keep off yes. forgetting Jasper Vale hasn't come out yet. Yeah. The yellow, yeah. orange, whatever. Yeah. I don't know how she would do rock stars. I'm kind of nervous to read that one. Because like the bribe wasn't my favorite when she wrote. The female character is like a rock star. Do any of hers have more like romantic suspense in them? Like in the Calamity Montana series? The bribe is the, the closest. Is. Yeah. Yep. That I feel like is the closest. The bully not. No, the bully is my least favorite. Because that's really that's hate to I, love. No, that's not the next one I have to read. I have to read. 
I don't remember. The bullies one I don't own, but that's not book two. The bluff is like a fake marriage type thing. Fake engagement, I think, something like that. But the bully is definitely, I mean, the brazen is my favorite. Let me just, clearly. I think that's everyone's favorite. Oh, she's the musician. She wrote The Bribe like that. The Bribe is, the female character is a music star and the main oh, male yeah. character is the sheriff. Yeah. Yeah. But I didn't know, like, for rocks, when you say, like, rock star romance, I think, like, oh, the hero's the rock star. Yeah. She has, so, like, every time I read her books, I'm like, I've read so much of her. I don't have that much left. I'm like, no, I have a lot left. Right. I think I read, like, 16 of her books that last year. I went through three series. So I have the Jameson Valley series all but The Outpost. So it's, like, four or five books, I think. Mm-hmm. And then I have the two stand, not standalones, but the like rock star and then the snowboarding. I have Timeless, which is that little novella. Yeah, I haven't read that yet. And then the rest of this series. And I think I'm caught up with everything. Really? Yeah. You read the whole Lark Cove other than Timeless? Yeah, I finished that at the end of the year. That's why they all blended together because I did not like that series. Like all of them were like three, three and a half stars. You didn't like Tragic? It was okay. Like that's my... Like, it was the most emotional one. So it's, like, yeah. the one yeah. that sticks in my head. Well, like, I like that because I had just read that. And then I think that hero was the related to someone in Clifton Forge. Yes, yes. Remember how we were trying to talk about all that? Yeah. Tabitha. Tabitha knows. Oh, people like the brawl? I didn't like – okay, the brawl, he does a lot of pining. He's the lawyer and she's a single mom. Okay. She so likes to write her single parents, too. Oh, yeah. But she does it really, really well. Mm -hmm. But there's something about Pierce Sullivan and then Knox and Memphis. I don't know. Those two, like, so good. But he's a millionaire, right? Pierce Sullivan? Yeah. Oh, he's a gajillionaire. Yeah. Okay. She really likes her rich characters, too. <laughs> like, just looking at this series that we just read, the both of the heroines were, like, millionaires. Well, but I like that, that they're millionaires, though. Not the men are. Well, I mean... Well, yeah. yeah. But, like, the next one, one, whatever one, he's a billionaire. So. I don't know. I like rich men. I don't care about epilogues. Like, for this series, I, I almost stopped reading when we got to the epilogue. I'm like, I don't care what the I mean, it's going to be marriage and a baby. At least every time. And I'm like, I don't know. I don't care. I don't need to. But I still read it because I wanted to, like, finish it. But I think you said that for Clifton Forge, too. <laughs> Well, because they all have them. And I'm like, I don't need an epilogue with every book. Like, do you need an epilogue for every book you read? Mm, you can see, like, closure. Do they all have epilogues? Um, I don't know, actually. Oh, there's a bonus epilogue. Yeah, there's an epilogue and then a bonus epilogue. <laughs> <laughs> Kendra. Because they're just like, ah, oh, okay, you're together. Cool, you're having babies and you're <laughs> doing whatever. It's the happily ever after part. The after. I need the pain. I don't care about the happy ever after. Oh, Timeless is Charlie from Tattered. The Oh, her son? No. Her daughter? She had a daughter, right? Yeah, her daughter. Was her name Charlie? I don't know. I think so. She had a daughter, right? Yeah, it was a girl. Yeah, because I, I remember hating that book because she was trying to be like, be nice to your dad. He, like, came back into your life. And I was like, no, if that kid doesn't want to be nice to him, don't let her do that. Like, she don't like him. I was so mad. So is Timeless, like, an actual book or is it an epilogue? I thought it was a novella. Yeah, but, like, is it a new story or is it just, like, to see? I don't know. Listen, this whole, what is it, some kind of perfect? Screw that book. From the Addicted Series. Oh, oh, Kirsten Becker Ritchie. Yes. I was like, what are you talking about? Okay, this is how it is. Sometimes I feel like I need the epilogue to get some closure, and sometimes I don't. And also, Ooh. I'll read the bonus epilogues if I, like, how much I liked the book. Like, if I loved it, I'll read it. If I didn't, like. it like... depends on how long they are. Like, if it's, like, a 20-page epilogue, I'm like, this is dumb. If it's, like, <laughs> five pages, okay, I'll read five pages of them. Yeah, this is, yeah. 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 Oh. 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 Okay. 
Yeah, I have no interest in reading I, I literally it, got caught up on the White Cove series because I thought Timeless was a standalone. <laughs> then I found out it was, a, it was a novella. Yeah. Oh. It's a so like set up her possibly having her own story. Gotcha. Got it, got it. Gotcha. Well, this was fun. Yeah, I'm glad everybody really liked it. I like live shows where we like like the book. I know. Oh. We're starting off the year with a really good. Um, it's not like the Jay Bree read along. We were all yeah. like, "Oh my god, that's so bad." <laughs> we're not giving up on this one. Yeah, and I mean, it helps that they're short though. Like, I don't feel as intimidated reading a book a week when they're like. Taking when you steps. told me on like Monday, you're like, "I'm just now starting book one." I'm like, "Um, are you gonna finish before Wednesday?" <laughs> yeah, I finished a book a day. Well, I lied. I finished this one today, too. I, I started it yesterday. So very quick, bingeable, definitely. So okay. it was like the perfect read-along series. I know so many people are reading. And if, like, you tag me and stuff or, like, us and stuff and I didn't repost it, I'm sorry. But it was it was hard to keep up because so many people. And I was trying to see who was, like, reading it and I was trying yeah. to respond. It was hard. But I'm liking it. So, so far, it's so good. And I can't wait for the Friends to Lovers now that I know it's Friends to Lovers, Force Proximity. Like, that's my... Can well, and I'm, I can prepare myself for the surprise pregnancy, which yeah. I, I prefer. If I, I do know, not like a book being surprised. Yes. If I know it's coming, I'm like, okay, like, we'll just read it. I know it's coming. Let's, like, already digest it so I don't have to get mad when I read it. And it's really a surprise to, like, me. Let it be a surprise to the characters, not me. Yeah. That makes sense. <laughs> Especially because it sounds like the whole book's going to have to do with it, so. As opposed well, to, like, happening. This one sounds like that one where they were forced together in Clifton Forge. And they just live together. Yeah, which I didn't like that book. So yeah, I'm hoping it's not like that. But but didn't one of the Clifton Forge ones have surprise pregnancy like later in the book? I don't want to spoil which one, but yes, like she yeah, which I didn't mind that. I was like, oh okay, because like they were already like into each other. Yeah. Yeah. Well, the next live show is gonna be February first on Jess's channel at seven p.m. Too. Um, we'll be discussing the last three books, so we have three weeks till the next live show. You read a book a week or binge them in three days before the live show whichever one you want to do but awesome, thank you guys awesome. for joining this was really fun yeah i'm glad you guys are so chatty in the comments and yeah that's all we have for this live show we'll see you february 1st bye guys bye